Dear friends, Dalono Ekelekwa Mono. Wherever you are, listening to my voice. I want to tell you that tough meat are for those who are of age. Are you getting what I'm saying? Tough meat are for those who are of age. We are driving home with a victory. Nobody that stands on the ways of their friends that survive. Anybody or group of people who have decided to kill their friends will not remain alive. Because we have the God that fights for us. And at the same time, we are mentally sound, physically able, All right. Our financial capability as a country cannot be fattened. I'm talking based on what Tinibu said that he has found out the source of the sponsors the source of the financial sponsors of Biafrans and Tinibu have not been able to investigate the sponsors of terrorists in Nigeria. Heading to one year now, he entered there. Tinibu have not been able to see those who are sponsoring Boko Haram, SWAP, or Qaeda, ICC, Tinibu didn't know them. And he doesn't know the source of their income. It's very unfortunate that some Biafrans and some Igbos still remain myopic. Let me inform you you who is a Biafran or an Igbo man who is jittering and you are afraid of what Tinibu can do or what Nigeria government and the Ameletres can do. Let me inform you that they cannot do anything. And there is nothing they will do that will be more than what they have done to their friends in Nigeria. Remember Operation Python Dance and Mazenam the Kanos Father's Compound, which Nigeria government killed uncountable people that night. Remember Operation Golden Dawn. Remember Operation Udoka. I'm talking to you as one of the legends if we are talking about generals on earth, you cannot jump me in a hurry. And physically, you cannot say you didn't see me.
Because the very day God created me, he carefully created me. And I was born for a purpose. And that purpose is very good for the emancipation of my people, dear friends, that I love so much from mental slavery, wanton killings, marginalization and tribalism, nepotism and subjugation. This is why I was born. And this is why I am born. I am born to save my people from the invaders ravaging and pervading every crane and corner of Nigeria. It's very unfair and very unfortunate that people who suppose to say the truth for once, for the whole world to see. They collected the money and sold their conscience. This is General Meto Maribe on the move. Listen, let me inform you something. I know some of you are planning against me. I know some of you want to arrest me. Some of you want to catch me red-handed. So to deal with me. But for your information, as that thought is conceived in your heart, you will begin to die. All of you. My own is not bullet and gun. I know myself. Are you getting what I'm saying? As the thought is being conceived in your heart, you begin to die. No matter how many you people are in number, you will die. Immediately. For your information, you cannot catch air. If you can be able to catch air, then you will get me. I have been in your midst for barely three years now, and none of you have ever set eyes on me. And I'm seeing all of you. And I know your houses. I know the very cars you ride. All right? But let me inform you something. Injury to one is injury to all. Any person or persons from Nigeria that touches Prime Minister Simon Eba have touched me. And nobody touched me and remain alive. And nobody sees me with his eyes and remain alive. Any enemy of Biafra or Biafrans that sets eyes on me as a person must drop dead. There's no way about it. This is why I look at you people. I feel like none of you is my class in the whole Nigeria. None of you is my class. If you look for me inside the fire, I'm there. You look for me inside the sun, I am there. You look for me inside the ocean, inside the ocean, bottomless pit, you will find me there. And this is what makes me Meto Maribe. Nigeria government is bringing the war he cannot be able to fight. Terrorists have defeated Nigeria. Is it Biafra Liberation Forces? 
that will not crush Nigerian military terrorists. We are there. We are waiting for Nigeria military's bomb and Tucano jets and Grand Soldiers, Air Force and Navies to surface in the land of Biafra. I will not tell you what will happen to them. But one thing I will assure you is that Biafrans shall be protected from their weapons and ammunition. And not even one of them will go with the same leg that brought him or her to Biafra land to kill Biafras. The time to Jitre have passed. The time to fear have passed. Biafrans, fear not. Greater is he that is with you or are with you than those who are against you. Look round. You, you must see something encourageable. You must see something that will make you courageous. Not to fade away. Not to begin to cogitate or ponder how you are going to escape the danger. We are there. I am there. I'm in the vanguard. I'm in the front line. Every hand that pointed against Biafrans shall have dried up. We are moving home. We are going home. When you watch on this screen, nobody will tell you who is Meto Maribe here. Makanone me aho dimba aho gologi mi. We shall continue protecting our people, protecting our land from the invaders, and keeping ourselves equipped against the enemies. And that is self-defense, self-determination. You don't allow people that you don't know where they are coming from to intimidate you and to take over your ancestral land in the name of religion. It will not work. Be our friends. The truth is what I'm telling you. Whatever you spend the money on is a problem you solve. Anything that takes money solves the problem. And for this reason, I am telling you that we are ready to spend today and to spend tomorrow. And to, and to spend until this world comes to an end. Because the wealth and the financial resources of Biafrans have no limitation. <laughs>